There were two males, two females, but we have lost one male, so we have got only one male and two females. Well, securing northern white rhinos entails us to be out for at least 14 hours per shift. So everyone is out at, at around 6 in the evening, and then the other shift takes over at around 10 a.m. the next morning. So everyone is out and dedicated to the northern white rhinos. Yeah. Yeah, you really enjoy uh, being wrapped under the belly. Sometimes behind the ears, you feel um, it's okay when it's being wrapped. And even sometimes we can use the brush to scratch him and it like that. Right now, uh, Sudan is too old enough, but is still looking for the, fe for the females. But uh, when we look at him, the, the hind leg is weak, uh, of which um, is not able to mount on the females because it can't support himself. That's why we, it, uh, it can't mate in a natural way. So, but we have collected semen before for the use of IVF, and also one of the females, she has got same problem like uh, Sudan. The, uh, the hind leg is bad, it's weak so she can be able to support herself when being mounted. So the only way we can do is that we can combine semen from the male and also collect eggs from the two females and plant in a southern white rhino, of which a southern white rhino will be a surrogate mother. That's just a way of trying to save them. If it works, it, it will help to save this endangered species. Oh. These animals, they are really amazing but so sad because uh, we end up losing such kinds of uh, species because of human failure. People used to kill rhinos because of their horns and many people have been uh, believing that uh, they use as medicine but it doesn't cure anyone at all. So, but what we are doing is that uh, we are creating awareness to everyone to see the importance of uh, conserving such kind of animals. We don't want them to become a prehistoric like our dinosaurs. And in fact, they, re they really look so amazing.